It's that time again. Today I'm going to be doing some multi-species tinkara fishing in a creek that is loaded with tiny fish. The last time I came here, we put on an absolute clinic. I think I caught about 100 fish and we're gonna try to replicate that today with the Tiny Tin 2. This is a beautifully crafted little eight foot rod. It's 100% carbon fiber. It comes with a swivel tip, which I also love because that's gonna help stop us from getting tangled up. But the coolest thing about it, in my opinion, is that this thing collapses down to only 13 inches, which means it basically fits in your pocket. You can take it anywhere. It is extremely minimalistic. So anyway, come along with me. We're gonna try a variety of patterns, see if we can catch multiple species and just have a nice relaxing time. Got one. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Feels about exactly like I hoped it would on the tiny tin too. <laughs> nice. Beautiful little sunfish here. So right there, I came upon my first little school of sunfish here. And as soon as I dropped that woolly bugger in front of them, they went ballistic and fought over it. So that could be a good sign for things to come today. Got one. <laughs> right now, guys, with this woolly bugger, I'm just trying to target the fish that I think have a mouth big enough to eat it. It's a little bit on the big side for these tiny fish in here, but if we downsize, I know we're gonna catch a lot more. This is a really pretty fish right here. Oh, 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 oh. Getting between my legs. <laughs> oh man, even the little sunfish feel incredible on this tiny tin too. That's a really pretty fish. Let's get this one in. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin seed my goodness look at that thing you guys look at this beautiful specimen beautiful beautiful colors all right that's two fish so far and clearly they are loving the woolly bugger but only the bigger ones are able to eat that fly so here in a minute i might downsize but i'm going to keep it on for just a second and see if we can get a couple more big ones over here Got one. <laughs> oh, very few of these fish are big enough to eat this woolly bugger. So we're gonna have to downsize, but we'll try and pick off the bigger ones first. And then we'll switch over to a little bit smaller fly. Little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> wow. Tiny, tiny rock bass. How cool is that? With the tiny Rockies, their eye looks really, really big for their head. Just a really cool looking fish. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> Took a minute, but we finally got our fourth fish. And the only reason it took a minute, you guys, is because they're just too small. They can't eat it. Nice little sunfish here. Now we're gonna downsize and catch the rest of them. All right, guys, switching over to this little fly that kind of looks like a flying ant. It's some kind of caddis pattern. And I had one of these land on my arm yesterday, and I remember thinking, I have one of those in my fly box. So we're gonna see if it works. Got one. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're catching the smaller ones. Now we can catch them all. Another pumpkin seed. Got one, oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't even feel that bite. Look at this fish. That is a micro bluegill. Got one. <laughs> oh, super tiny. Now that we can catch all the mini ones, I think we can catch a lot of fish today. That doesn't mean that this is the ultimate pattern for today, but it's definitely the right size. 
Got another one. Back to back casts. Another little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> another small one. Bluegill. Part of this big bluegill mafia sitting over here by this fountain. Got one. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stop saying uh, got one every time I hook a fish. Little bluegill. All right, this pattern's working because it's a much more appropriate size, but I'm not seeing the reaction that tells me that this is the ultimate pattern for today. I think we'll find something that's more effective. All right, guys, switching over to this little fly that I tied up last night. It's pretty ugly, so you can make fun of it if you want, but just supposed to be a little grub imitation with a little chartreuse marabou tail. I just thought this was something that might work here. We're gonna give it a shot. Got one? <laughs> All right, so it's not as stupid as it looks. Does look pretty stupid though. Another bluegill. Let's try that again. Got one. <laughs> Who knows guys, this stupid little ugly fly I tied might be the ticket for today. Another bluegill. Got one. <laughs> oh, self-release. This fly looks so dumb. I just had this really good looking chenille. I thought if I just put that on a hook, something will eat it. Added that little chartreuse just for visibility. And uh, so far it's getting the reaction that I was looking for. Got one. <laughs> Another bluegill. Got one. <laughs> that was quick. All right, guys. <laughs> this stupid pattern I tied up. I don't even know what to call it. Kind of a grub imitation. It might be the ticket for today. Another bluegill. I really want to catch this largemouth. He's looking at it, but the bluegill are too fast. I might just have to filter through all the aggressive bluegill before I can catch him. Got one. <laughs> oh, they're fighting over it. Dang it, I just realized I've been saying got one this whole time. Beautiful pumpkin seed. Got one. <laughs> oh boy. Another little bluegill. So they're not really committing to this fly unless it's moving. I was tight lining it in some current over here and I've been jigging it along and they get way more aggressive when it's moving. So I think it's time to put on a micro streamer and I think we have a much better shot at catching that largemouth as well. And we're only going to fish this hole for a little bit longer and then we're going to move up and explore some new areas. All right guys, switching it up here to the smallest fly in my fly box. This is actually a traditional Kabari and it's the first one that I've used. Got one. <laughs> Woo! Tiny one. Little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> oh, self release. So they're eating this little kabari, but they also seem to be having a hard time finding it unless I move it. I don't think it's my winning pattern for today, but it is working. Got one. <laughs> Another little bluegill on the purple Kabari. Got one. <laughs> okay. Just giving that Kabari a couple twitches and I take it. 
One more and I think we're going to switch patterns again. Got one? <laughs> All right. The Kabari catches the micros. Little pumpkin seed. All right, let's try something new. Got one. <clears throat> Little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> Another bluegill. There he is. Got one. <laughs> They definitely want the streamer. The hook's just a little bit big. Got one. <laughs> Tiny blue go. All right, guys, I'm switching over here to a slightly larger Kabari. I was planning to stick with the streamer, but there's just too many fish here, and uh, most of them can't eat the streamer. So we got to try something else. Got one. Well, that was pretty quick. That was a pretty aggressive strike. Let's see if we can replicate that. Got one. <laughs> we may be on to something here. I believe this is a hybrid bluegill pumpkin seed, but it might just be a pumpkin seed. Got one. We might be on to something here. Another bluegill. Got another one. <laughs> Very pretty pumpkin seed. Starting to rain on us now, that's okay. As long as the fish keep biting, I don't mind getting a little wet. Got another one? Yeah, guys, if I pulse this Kabari in the water, it's pretty much game over. I think they're gonna eat this all day. I think they're gonna eat it all day. Woo! One of the better bluegills today. Ooh. There's one. Whoop. There he is. Oh. Haven't been counting, but we're starting to rack them up now. There's another one. There's one. Beautiful pumpkin seed. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful gold and blue coloring. Definitely the prettiest fish of the day. Got another one. <laughs> it's one after another now. 
Oh, self-release. Another bluegill. Another pretty pumpkin seed. Beautiful fish there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Too easy now. Just too easy. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> See you later, bud. Another pretty pumpkin seed. All right, as effective as that pattern was, I'm gonna go back to this stupid little grub thing that I tied up and see if that works on these fish here as well. <laughs> it still works. It's a stupid ugly fly, but it does work. Got another one. <laughs> it definitely works. <laughs> it may work as well as that Kabari. <clears throat> another bluegill. <laughs> uh, maybe even better. Maybe even better. <laughs> oh man. There it is again. I tied this pattern up to be easy to see, easy to eat and to be durable. I have no idea what to call it. Maybe it already exists, but uh, it definitely is working how I thought it would. Yep. Yep, it might be better than the Kabari. <laughs> <laughs> it is better than the Kabari. We're just gonna say it now. We're catching them on every cast. Just a couple of twitches and it's basically guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, it's literally every cast now. <laughs> Ooh, big carp, you guys see that? Too big carp. <laughs> what do I got to do to get one of those to eat a fly? I don't think I want to try it on this rod, but uh, I really want to try and catch a carp on the fly soon. Yep, this stupid little pattern that I made up is the best one even if it is the ugliest fly in my box. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Maybe the smallest one of the day here. Tiny bluegill. Oh, sorry, bud.
<laughs> oh man. Oh, there he goes. This is just too fun. Over and over and over. Probably not that exciting to watch, guys. I realize that. But for me, this is a great time. And I'm loving this rod. The whole reason I came out here today was to put this thing to the test, and we're certainly doing that. Here's a little better one. Ooh. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He actually pulled me into the trees. He actually got me in there. Oh, we got him out. <laughs> Underestimated this one. Very pretty fish. Very pretty fish. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous fish, guys. Absolutely beautiful pumpkin seed. <laughs> Micro bluegill. <laughs> Another tiny one. <laughs> They're eating it off the surface at times. Another bluegill. <laughs> bluegill. <laughs> Another bluegill. There's so many fish in here, guys. <laughs> All right, that's the last little bluegill. We're going to move along, see if we can find some more fish. All right, guys, we are moving along, and I've tied back on a streamer, so we're probably going to get less bites, but I really want to catch some largemouth and some rock bass. We've tested the tiny tin too on about 50 bluegill and now I wanna try it out on some other species. And I still think the streamer is going to be our best bet. Guys, a largemouth just went for it. The bass wants it, but the bluegill are stealing it from him. Guess I'll just get one of them out of the way. Another bluegill, but I want that largemouth. Got another one. <laughs> oh. These guys just won't allow it. They're just more aggressive. Another one. The largemouth is right there. Oh, it was in his mouth. Oh no. All right, that's enough fooling around with that bass. Let's move along, see if we can find another one. Oop, got something on the streamer. All right, guys, we finally did it. <laughs> we finally almost did it. Largemouth bass. Ooh, nice rock bass over here, guys. Not sure if I spooked him or not, though. Got him. <laughs> Finally got a rock bass. Oh, he spit it. No. Dang it. <laughs> Not a rock bass, but we got a bluegill. Got one. <laughs> Ooh. Nice, large mouth.
Took us long enough, put the olive woolly bugger back on, caught one of our targets. I wish we hadn't lost that rock bass because it actually was a pretty nice one. But we'll probably see another one, I think. Look here, guys, right at my feet. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Woo. Nice little oop. <laughs> nice little pumpkin seed on the woolly bugger. Got one. Could it be? Could it be? It is. As long as we don't lose them. Oh, where's the line? Then we finally got a rock bass. It was realistically only a matter of time, but finally. So that makes four species so far, bluegill, pumpkin seed, largemouth, and rock bass. And there's one more that we should be almost guaranteed to catch, and that's the creek chub, and we have not seen one yet. I'm gonna keep on the olive woolly bugger, and we're gonna see if we can get one of these chubs. Not a creek chub, another pumpkin seed. Look how beautiful though, guys. Look at those orange colored up fins. That is a beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. But we're looking for an ugly one, the creek chub. This hole over here looks promising. Got one. Not the target, but that's a nice sunfish. Look at that guy. Oh, there's definitely a chub over there, guys. I saw him. Oh, there he is, guys. Species number five. Ooh, the creek chub. That's a nice one, too. Look at that thing. Oh, see you later, bud. Got one. What do we got here? Rock bass? Yep. Pretty little rock bass, beautiful red eyes. All right, let's keep moving on up. Got another one? All right, we're really starting to get into the rock bass now. That's what I'm talking about. Just a tiny one. All right, let's check over here. Got one. <laughs> Oop. Another nice pumpkin seed. Beautiful. All right, let's keep moving on up here. Got one. Little sunfish. Slingshot cast here. Got trees directly behind me. Got one. <laughs> Off the slingshot cast. That's pretty cool. Oop. Little pumpkin seed. Let's try that again. Got one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that slingshot more often. I skipped over some areas today where I probably could have done that, but I couldn't do a regular cast. So I just skipped over them. But this is quite easy. Got one. Looky there. Not a sunfish. He's just hanging out with them. It's a creek chub. Another nice one. Might be even bigger than the first one there. Very cool. The slingshot cast is super fun with this thing. 
and it might even be more accurate <laughs> than the regular cast for me at least I'm not very good at casting Got one. <laughs> oh, the slingshot's too fun. That was so accurate. Got one. Ooh, nicer fish. Oh, got almost no room in here to fight this guy, but decent rock bass here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what we've been looking for right there. Definitely would not have caught that guy if I hadn't just discovered the beauty of the slingshot cast. <laughs> All right, guys, after that nice little rock bass, I think we're gonna call it a day and walk back to the car. My first impression of the Tiny Tin 2 is that it is, uh, it's pretty outstanding. It really is perfect for these shallow, narrow creeks and the ones that are crowded by the canopy like this one is. And once I decided to attempt the slingshot cast for the first time, it opened up a lot more possibilities for us and led to my biggest rock bass of the day. I do wish I would have figured that out sooner because I passed over some areas that I could have fished had I remembered that the slingshot cast existed. Just never tried it before. Thank you guys very much for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I've had a blast chasing these tiny fish the last couple weeks, but I tell you what, I think I've had my fill and I think it's time to start chasing some bigger stuff. I think very soon we're gonna spend a lot of time chasing musky. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I know I am. See you in the next one.